Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make your how to make a custom font on Windows 7 or actually Windows or a Mac. So, start with you're going to go to this website, myscriptfont.com. It'll be in the description and you are going to download the template right here. So, once you download it, you can open it up and you'll see these little boxes with letters in them. These are the basic symbols and letters used when typing once all right as i was saying you you got these letters with the basic letters and numbers of the typing alphabet <laughs> and uh in here so you can do one of two things you could either open this up with paint or photoshop and edit them on your computer or you could print it out and scan it back to your computer later i open or i printed it and then uh, filled it out with a sharpie so let me get that up real quick found it here it is it's um this is what it looked like when I filled it out and uploaded it so I I used a sharpie for this uh, so yeah you're not gonna want to use a pencil or something cuz as you can see you cannot see the background gray letters anymore alright so that's that you're gonna save that to wherever and then <clears throat> you're going to hit or actually gonna no you're gonna hit choose file or pick your file and then you'll name it to whatever you want select format you're gonna keep that format I suppose I really don't know but I kept that format and it worked and you could click send file so let me do mine super quick all right my my info is in there so selected that and it's gonna load for a second I'll come right back once it's done alright this should end in any second now yep there it is it normally takes about 30 to 45 seconds and as you can see there's the font okay so you can hit this which is going to be the same as your name uh, I guess it resets so you can click that and it's gonna download it and you can open this and you can install it but I already installed mine and here it is here it whoops it is so this actually looks the same as my handwriting which was kind of the purpose of this and that's that so to select it uh, for notepad you're gonna go into format font and then select your font so that's that it's quite easy and quite efficient actually and this works with almost or well, this works with every symbol that you've done uh, so it's kinda cool actually as you can see all of this is uh, custom Whoops. so yeah that's that I hope you enjoyed the video hope this helped you hope you check out these channels super terrific awesome channel and channel called Tenno Shadow because those are uh, my friends, my friend Corey. He does a lot of tutorial videos on the Super Terrific Awesome channel. And his Tenno Shadows channel is pretty cool. So I encourage you to visit them. And I also encourage you to like this video and his videos. So that's that. Hope this helped. And see you soon.